Hi, this is David with Sherlock Fabrics, and today we're going to be stretching up an endurance panel on the Easy Tensioning Tool. So to get started here, we've got our Easy Tensioning Tool. We've got our safety bar, Easy Tensioning Tool right here, all set up and ready to go. We've got our Easy Endurance Panel. So you can see the adhesive around the perimeter here. We'll go into a little bit more detail about that in just a moment. Then I've got my tension bars for my frame, and then I've got my loading rods right here. All right, start off with, I always start with the long side first. So we've got a series of three separate hooks here on the bottom. So that's gonna engage right onto the frame. So hook one is in the front, hook two is in the middle, hook three is when the tension bar is flush and fully stretched out. So we will take one of our long rods. Remember that these rods are, they come with each frame, but they are completely reusable. So anytime a fabric fails over time, just make sure you slide those out, keep them nice and clean, and reuse them for your next set of panels. So I've slid in the rod almost all the way. I've just left a little bit of mesh on the end. That makes it really easy to slide the mesh in the front pocket. We've got a couple different pockets here. Now the front one, the larger one, is the one that you want to slide in. It's got rounded edges on it. So that's where this 3 16 rod will slide right into. So if you tilt the tension bar up more vertically, that puts less strain on the mesh and it just slides in really quick and, and simple like that. So slide in. I've just balanced the tension rod here in both sides. So you don't want one end sticking out way more than another side. Just keep it really symmetrical like that. And if you've got a welded frame, you've got some little notches here on the side and that will help you center up the tension bar. So until you get tension on these, just I like to keep a hand on the tension bar. Slide this right around so it doesn't dislodge. If you put a little back pressure on the hooks too, that will help keep it there until we begin to get a little bit more tension. So grab your next tension bar here and your rod. The rod will simply just slide in the pocket. We've looped the mesh over onto itself into that adhesive to create that pocket. So that's how you can slide that rod right in through the side of the mesh. That also gives you a double layer of mesh, which makes it very strong and the most vulnerable spot on the panel, on any screen print frame. And just simply position this rod so that it's centered on there and the mesh is centered too. I can see a little bit of silver on the aluminum on the tension bar on each end. So that tells me I've got it pretty equal. I'm looking for that little notch to make sure that I'm nice and centered with the tension bar. So I've got both long sides on, and I'm only going to hook two on everything to begin with. That's a really, really important step that you don't want to skip. Go to hook number two, and you will be good to go. So hook two on the longs. Now we're working on a short end. Doesn't matter which one you go to. But simply slide on the tension bar. Center up that mesh. Center up that rod, just like I've said there. And then we will rotate around. Final end here, slide in the rod into the pocket of the mesh, slide the tension bar on, center everything up, go into hook number two again. Even if you could pull further than that by hand, we prefer that you don't, just go to hook number two on everything, then come back to one of your long sides, doesn't matter which one. This is where we're gonna use the tool, and then we've also got our elevation stick here as well. So this will come with your easy tensioning tool kit. So this is essential to slide underneath and get that in here. The height of the safety bar here is really critical because if you can form a little bit of a wedge underneath there, then that's gonna give you a nice amount of pressure when you're stretching things out. So I will just simply install the stretcher strip here into the, the tension bar. Make sure that that's fully seated down so that when you begin to press down, it's not gonna lift out. That's basically the only thing where you would ever cause damage to the stretcher strip. You get an extra one with it, but no sense using it before you need to. You can slide it out and replace it really simply, but just make sure that that's fully seated down in there. 
Slide this back. Come to one of the other long sides. Remember, whatever you do to one long side, you want to match that to the parallel long side. We want to pull this mesh as even as possible across the frame. Make sure that I'm fully seated here. I like to feel right across here. You can feel if it raises up that you need to make some adjustment there. So everything looks good. Just do a quick visual before you stretch to to make sure that things are still centered. The mesh and the rods are still centered on there. Begin to push down on there. Do that quick visual on the ends. Make sure that those hooks are fully engaged into the frame before you release the tensioning tool. Back this off. And then begin to put this in place just like so. Go to one of my short ends. Doesn't matter which short end you go with. Make sure that your stretcher strip is locked in there. I like pushing with a forearm. There's lots of different techniques on pushing down and stretching, but I like to feel the tension bar engage. Put a hand on there. That way you can just feel it as well as hear it engage. Do that quick visual to make sure everything's all set and good to go. We'll slide this back. It's nice to have that frame wedged underneath the safety bar. It really stabilizes the frame while stretching, so it feels very secure, nothing sliding around. I'm going to slide this in to the final side here. Lock that stretcher strip in just like so. Pull that out. Everything's locked in. It looks like it's nice and centered. If you do want to adjust your tension bars left to right just a little bit, I really quick and simple little tip is to put your finger on the stretcher strip the insertion piece right here so it doesn't slide and then slide the base over so that will skew the mesh left or right so if i skew it over to the right a little bit you can actually inch this tension bar over so if you want to get it centered up better that's a really simple way to do it without having to hold completely restart the process so I've got my fourth and final side on there. Everything looks good, nice and centered. And I can slide this out, take out the elevation piece. And I've got a completed easy frame with the endurance panel all set up on there and ready to go. For additional video and information, uh, go to Sherlock.com. Thanks so much.